Hey everyone, in today's video we're heading to two different spots in hopes of finding an owl. We're looking for a screech owl and a great horned owl. And also we're going to be going to Putt Lake in search of some eagles. So if you guys enjoy this type of content, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And hope you guys enjoy the video. For those of you who are new here, my name is Spencer Barra. I'm a 24 year old wildlife photographer. And a big goal on this channel is to hit 500 subscribers. I'm not going to ask that this video, but if we could hit 125, that would be awesome. Vassar Farms in Poughkeepsie, New York, and I'm on the hunt for a great horned owl because I heard there was one spotted here one day ago. So I made the trip and I'm walking down a path and I see this nest. So I'm really hoping it's an owl nest, but I think it's a red shouldered hawk nest and it's in there right now. It was peeking its head over, it was really cute. So I'm gonna wait this out and see if I can get a good shot. I'm keeping my distance, I'm not disturbing it, so there's no worries there. And after this, hopefully, I spot the owl. Definitely wore the wrong shoes today. That's okay, it's always worth it. This spot is so beautiful. You hear all the frogs? So you know it's early spring. No signs of an owl yet, but that's okay. I'm passing the time taking pictures of plants and trees. I love doing that. I'm mainly a wildlife photographer, but I also dabble in nature photography and landscape photography too. Guys, there's a deer right in front of me. about 30 feet away. It actually scared me. I did not see it at first. I really don't get to see mammals too often in the wild. So I'm really happy I spotted this. I see a bunch of squirrels, but never the big mammals. On her way she goes. I just spent about 10 minutes photographing that doe and it was such a cool encounter because I had no clue it was there and I looked to my right and it was just looking at me and it kept minding its business. I didn't bother it. It kept feeding and licking itself but I'm really glad I saw that. Glad I got some pictures of it. If you look in front of me there are two deer. They were not expecting me and I was not expecting them. There's a third over there, but I'm just gonna back away, leave them alone. I seem to have really startled them. I was hoping to see an owl in one of those trees, but I think it's time to go. Sun's coming up on Putt Lake, it's a new day. I got some pictures of the sunrise and I was messing around with my shutter speed. Some ruddy ducks were swimming through the sunrise light 
and I really wanted to slow it down and try to capture some movement. It didn't work too well, but the lighting was just so cool. It was pink and purple. I got some pretty cool shots. I'm at the bald eagle tree. I drove by and I spotted one, so I pulled over and I took a few pictures of it, but then it took off and it took off to catch some food. So I basically had a front row seat to this eagle eating breakfast. It flew right back to the tree and I just watched it eat. I even got pictures of it catching the fish. So it was really cool. I'm really surprised. It must have not cared that I was there. It just flew right back to where I was and started munching away. It's another gloomy day on Putt Lake, but right when I got here, I spotted one of the juvenile bald eagles and I watched it for about 30 minutes, taking some pictures and it eventually took off and it acquired a target, caught it and it's eating it right now. It's in a tree across the lake. It was really cool. I got some shots of it, you know, grabbing the fish from the water and flying in the air. I just pulled up to Park and there was an eastern screech owl spotted here a couple hours ago. And there's also a bunch of great horned owls here. So I'm trying to navigate this place. I have no clue where they're gonna be. So I'm just gonna park and walk. I think we're in the right area. My favorite part about these missions is that I have no clue whether I'm gonna see anything or not. But the chance of seeing one is really exciting. That's why I always come out. I'm walking around, it's a big loop. So I'm gonna take a lap around it and see what I see. Check out this sunset. I feel like this is definitely where the owls are but it's a private campground and I don't have a reservation. So I'm gonna try over here. See if maybe there's an owl there. I was walking down the road. I look to my left and I'm face to face with another doe. I don't know what it is with them, but she was just checking me out. I took a quick picture and then she jumped off. And right after that, I got stopped by this very nice couple and they were looking for owls too. They were asking me for advice, but it was my first time here. So. I couldn't really help them, but we talked for a bit. They told me where past sightings were of owls, and I kind of already looked there, so I don't think they're there unless they're very hidden, which is also a very likely scenario. But I'm gonna head back to where my car is, and there's a spot I didn't check over there, so I'm gonna do that now. Just made it back to the car. I finished my loop, and I went down a separate trail too. No owl, but that's fine. There's a campground that I talked about earlier. I think I'm gonna drive back up to it and just keep my windows open and listen for them because it's starting to get late enough where they're coming out. So I'm gonna do that. I might even go down a separate trail because that couple I saw, they told me about a trail by the campground. So I think I'm gonna check that out too. There are three deer in the field right now. I'm driving up to the campground, it's up there. There's two more deer here, probably more. I just can't see them, but I sort of want to go down here, but I don't want to scare them. So I'm just going to wait. Okay, seem, seem to be going. Yeah, I'm just going to stand here and wait. No trespassing sign over here. Do not enter over there, so. This trail was a bust. It does have some nice views of pine trees, but I think I'm just going to go back to the car. It's getting to the point where my camera can't even focus because there's such low light. The deer is still here. I'm just gonna slowly walk by them like I did before. But um, yeah, this is definitely, <laughs> this is definitely a really great owl spot. I've seen it on eBird and now I've heard it from the, that couple. So I'm gonna make a trip back here for sure. But I think I'm gonna camp here because it looks awesome. Calling it here, mission's over gonna come back another time hopefully spot one but I'm gonna head out so I'll see you guys soon as I was getting in my car I met another photographer and we chatted for a bit and um, basically he told me he knows where the owl is but he's not gonna tell me and I've come to learn that people are really really protective over specifically owl locations so honestly 
Honestly, I think I said where I was today, but I might bleep it out just because it seems like it's really important to a lot of people to not show a ton of people the location. So I think I might beep out the location. So I'm sorry if you guys were interested in coming here, but I want to respect everyone and keep the owls protected, I guess. If it were my choice, I would share it. Um, as long as people are respectful, I don't have a problem, but I'm gonna not cause any issues. I'm gonna wrap the video up here. It was an awesome couple of days. We did not find an owl as you guys saw, but that's okay. There's always next time. I'm gonna continue the hunt. If you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Tell me your favorite part and tell me your favorite picture from this video. And I will catch you guys next time. Peace.